Well, hello everyone. My name is Daniel Alexander. I am from the Social Origin Podcast, and I'm so excited to bring you today's tutorial as we look at Riverside.fm. All right, so in today's tutorial, we're going to look at the revolutionary program, which is Riverside.fm. Those of you who have been within the podcasting space or creating on YouTube, running virtual uh, interviews, you would know some of the headaches that you might get as you try to get great quality audio and visual, match the two together to make sure that you have the best viewing experience. Today, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial and overview of Riverside.fm, what they've been able to do and accomplish. I've only been able to run about four different podcast interviews um, through the platform in the last kind of couple weeks because they've updated the new dashboard. And so today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the dashboard, how you set up a show, and um, and then how you execute and launch an interview. And I'll explain a couple little things that you, you really have to just use it yourself to be able to see and experience how good it actually is. So we're going to dive into the computer and I'll show you Riverside.fm. All right, so jumping in. So when you come to the Riverside.fm website, you can have a bit of a scroll. You can look through the pricing. Um, but yes, you see it right at the top, record remote interviews that look and sound amazing. And what I will tell you is it is so true. Some of the interviews I've been running lately, I have people who are positioned in Sydney, Australia. I myself am in, Tas uh, am in Tasmania. Uh, my brother is in the U.S. over in St. Louis, Missouri. And so we're always looking for the latest technology that make our lives easier. Uh, that make editing and getting all the software fantastic and a number of the clients that we work with as well um, they require that we be able to quickly get all the information without needing people to upload and so on and so forth so it's been really really good in that instance so let's dive into the platform we'll log in and I'll show you what it looks like all right so as we log into riverside.fm essentially you have what are called studios, which would be different podcast shows if you run multiple shows that you would actually be able to uh, run and facilitate. And so say we want to create a studio, we go create a new um, reusable studio. That is great and fantastic because oftentimes you, as a podcaster, you'll be talking around specific subject matters and you're going to want to make sure that you can keep that information nice and tidy and clean. So we can create a studio and that gives us a great place to be able to control the information we're looking to use. So we click create. So now that we've created the studio, you'll name the studio. So we'll name this uh, Riverside. Studio. All right. And then you can choose whether or not you want to run uh, primarily audio only or if you want to run an audio and video podcast. So for the purposes of today's tutorial, we'll say uh, audio video. Um, I'm not going to showcase the video in, in my web screen because it kind of messes up the video, but I will showcase what the controls look like and how the layout looks in the user dashboard. But before we do that, We'll then go down and you can actually add and invite participants. This lets you uh, be able to schedule with guests. Um, so by adding a participant, you can simply put um, their email in and, and you can select them as an audience, as a guest, or as a producer. Um, and then you yourself would be the host as you are creating that studio. Um, and so therefore, we're not going to put it in today, but simply you click Create Show. And away you go, it goes into the process, going to work for you, and there we go. We have the Riverside Studio show that's been created. And so, okay, if we go back to the studios, then we now scroll down and we can see it loading up. And we see there, yep, Riverside Studio. So, when you log in, it says, okay, welcome to the new uh, welcome to your new recordings. We haven't recorded anything yet, so we'll click and close on that, and then we will go to Recording Studio. Brilliant. It's rolling out the red carpet. Awesome. 
So now this is where you see it. This is the image that you will see. This is the, the dashboard that you will see when you are logging on as a host and also when your guests are logging on. So information that you'll want to make sure that they know they can use, they can choose to use no headphones. I always say and recommend if you want it to sound good and look great, use some headphones. It will also bring out the best volume uh, and speaking volume in your um, in your guests as, as you're going to be interviewing them. And also it'll be great for monitoring purposes to make sure that you're not getting any um, excess background noise or anything that you, you don't want to be there. It's just great for, for you to know. And then also in the dashboard, it will also allow you to say where you want to select your camera so oftentimes I use a GoPro uh, for my webcam because you can get really really high quality imagery um, but you can also use your um, you can also select your uh, FaceTime HD camera which would be your built-in uh, camera in your laptop if you're using that and then you can also use the drop-down menu to select your different microphones that you have preset for you so that's really good because that gives you again that added functionality and ability to uh, really customize your experience um, again like I said before with regard to the camera that you choose to to, to actually broadcast with um, you actually can plug in a DSLR. You have to have obviously the right cables to do so. But that's great because that does give you the ability to broadcast and record in 4K, which is really, really nice. And no one else on the market is doing that at the moment. A lot of, a lot of companies are trying and attempting to do that. Um, but most people, the closest they can get is to 720p at best. So Riverside have done an incredible job with this platform. And I tell you, it works. Um, all right, so we're gonna select uh, that I am not using headphones, and then I the, the camera that I've selected I don't have plugged in at the moment, so it won't pull up another video video angle of myself. And then all we do is we click Join Studio. Brilliant. All right, so it's gonna keep on cycling through that with the camera just because the camera is not on itself, but it's fantastic. So then I'll run you through the interface here. And again, it says, the recordings look and sound much better than what you see live. That is true. The reason why it's good to know that is that um, oftentimes if the image stops while you're recording or while you're talking on the other line, the beauty, the magic of Riverside FM is that it continues to record that video natively on that device and upload that in real time to your cloud storage so you can also bolt on dropbox um icloud uh, uh, google drive anywhere that you can store uh software and cloud files you can actually connect that with riverside fm and store your files securely and you know where it are where they are so that's fantastic as well uh this says yeah we're unable to the publish this requested device, that's totally fine. What I'll do is I'll just disable the camera to get rid of that notification there, and, uh, and away we go. And so looking through the dashboard uh, now, we're gonna have a look. So here you see the host, which is myself, um, as you have participants come into the actual show and program itself, um, the participants' names come up. Also, as the host, this is another beautiful feature to Riverside.fm, you actually, as the host, get full control of their volume levels, of the, of the capacity that they have to ask questions and engage. If you need to kick somebody out of the meeting, you can do so, and so on and so forth. So there are so many, um, so many benefits there and so much control that's placed back in the hands of the person producing the show uh, that you don't have in other softwares like Zoom or, um, or Zencaster or other, other platforms. Uh, the other aspect that I love is also the chat functionality. The chat functionality is fantastic because it gives you down at the bottom, you can see there, um, uh, use Riverside, at riverside.fm to connect with support at any point in time during your show. Um, so you can ask questions, but also you can connect, uh, you can connect with the people that you're interviewing or those that you're chatting with and, uh, and have conversations as well, which is fantastic. Uh, going on through the functionality, there also is a capability to be able to share your screen here on Riverside.fm. Uh, you can share application windows, you can share Chrome tabs um, from your web browser. There's so much capability. 
that make that ability to actually share your screen and run presentations a little bit more dynamic and unique. All right, looking at some of the settings. So you can click the settings button in the bottom left corner. Again, it gives you that initial menu that you found for your, uh, your, your microphone input, your video input, and then your speaker or monitoring input. Um, and so that's great because you can easily find that there. And then you, you can click over to your record settings. So in your record settings, you can select whether or not you want to record in 1080p or 2160p, which is 4K, um, whether you want to record audio only or if you want to record audio and video. Um, and then you can en enable the waiting room, which the waiting room primarily just functions as a, exactly that. Um, but prior to your guests being let into the show itself, you can allow them to go into a waiting room and then that way you know when they're there and you can be ready to launch into a conversation and welcome them in, uh, which is fantastic. And then you can select as well your audio sample rate, stick, stick with those standards. And then also there is also audio noise suppression capability. So on this, it says it in the, in the instructions below, but if ever you want to switch that on, what you can have your guests do, come to this, click on, and then just refresh the page. Now, on this point, one thing I love about what Riverside.fm have done is they've made this a web application. That's very significant because that means that no individual has to actually download a piece of software and install it on their device in order to make it work. This does give a limit in terms of you can't use it on your mobile device yet, but it's fantastic because any person with a laptop and computer, which you most likely would need to be able to run a very high quality um, podcast and have that maintained Wi-Fi and all of that stuff, you're going to want to use a laptop for this anyway. And so the fact that you don't have to download a web application to be able to do this, the fact that you don't have to download a piece of software to be able to use the functionality and benefits of Riverside.fm, it's fantastic. It means that they can own their atmosphere, continue to update the, pro uh, the, the platform and software, and we as users don't have to worry about updating to the latest and greatest computers to be able to use this platform. So... I personally love that. Okay, last but not least, within settings, so yes, you can run live streaming from Riverside.fm. This is a game changer because it gives you the ability to run significantly high quality audio and visual live streams. So you can live stream on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch, and that gives you the ability to embed those live streams on any number of different platforms. So this is a game changer because when I say that the quality is great, the quality is great. And so I would definitely say have a play, jump in, um, and, and definitely check out all of these features and functionality. But the fact that you can run a live stream through this thus makes this more than just a podcasting platform. It actually then becomes a resource for your business across the board. All right, so that's the dashboard. Next, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at where your podcast recordings and videos are stored, how you can access them and download them. And uh, then from there, it'll be up to you to jump off, have a play, check it out. And if you have any questions, please do write us at info at social origin, or you can always touch base with the guys over at riverside.fm and they'll definitely help you out. Definitely encourage you to take advantage of the free trial. And if you have a chance to let us know what you think and how you like it. So now we're going to head over to the dashboard. We're going to have a look at our recordings. We're going to look and see how everything has turned out how you download, and then from there, it'll be up to you to edit and make sure you maximize the content that you have created. So we'll jump into our Social Origin podcast to showcase some of the recordings that we've done in the past few weeks, and uh, we'll have a look and see, show you how you download the information, and, uh, and away we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. We're going to have a look at this recording from my brother, David, and the interview he did with Stephanie. We're just going to test out to see what the audio sounds like and, uh, and showcase a bit of the quality that you can get. I'm not going to put any compression 
or any EQing onto it. I'm just going to put it into this audio, on into this video raw so that you can hear it and showcase it and then um, away we go. So here we are in Logic. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly input both audio tracks. I'll showcase the start of the of the show, match up the tracks, make sure everything is lined up um, and showcase what it sounds like to you guys just so you have a reference point of how you'd actually take your audio from Riverside FM and then edit it to make sure that you get the most out of your projects and your podcasts or if you're simply using um, or if you're simply wanting to just get the best quality that you can from uh, your recordings or any meetings or interviews that you're running or any presentations that you're running for your business again this is also for you. So what we'll do is we'll go to our downloads folder. We'll have a look and there we'll, we'll find the last two there. And then what we'll do is we'll simply drag it in. So we'll have a listen to the audio quality that's coming through from uh, now. So we've now imported our project files into Logic Pro. Now, it doesn't really matter what editing platform you use and you utilize, you're going to need to do this process some sort of way, but Riverside.fm makes it super simple for you to be able to maximize your time and to make sure that you're not fumbling and bumbling and looking around for audio tracks. Um, and also by, by each audio track being separated out, if there are mistakes or ums or if there are background noise on one side, it gives you that ability to edit it out. So this is the audio that we hear from a, a, a podcast episode that my brother did over in the U.S. And uh, just have a listen here. Okay, so I am an engineer at Boeing. Right now I'm in supply chain working with suppliers for trainers for um, training systems for a T7 program. I've been at Boeing for almost 16 years in Seattle and St. Louis. And what else do you need to know? Sorry. <laughs> and so that's fine. You know, it's, it's great. Now that is the audio of a person who doesn't have a proper microphone and they're utilizing their laptop but it's actually great. And nine times out of ten, when you're interviewing a podcast guest, most likely, if you're not in the same room, that's going to be the case. So it's about maximizing what you have to get the best result that you can. And so I would highly recommend that you look at utilizing um, Riverside FM to be able to do all of your remote podcasting and it'll make such a difference so thank you so much for joining us on today's tutorial if you'd like more information about us at, over at social origin we provide a whole bunch of different podcasting marketing solutions so definitely check us out over at socialorigin.net otherwise definitely have a look at riverside.fm for all of your remote podcasting needs they will do an absolutely incredible job and you will be glad that you checked it out we'll see you